everybody. Welcome to Studio Z. I'm your host, Melissa Marvel, but today I have with me Tom Mabe. Hi, Melissa Marvel. How are you doing? I'm doing well, sir, and yourself? I'm doing well. I'm uh, very impressed with all the Studio Z stuff because, you know, I have a kid who who is an employee or a, I don't know, a client? He, he is a team member. He's a team member. He's a team member, and he's a part of our organization, our Zoom group, and our vocational program, so yes. And I am just, uh, what, tell me, because I'm late in the game. Josh is 21, and apparently, I guess he could have been involved since he was 16 or so? We start working with families and individuals uh, about the age of 14. 14? 14, yes. We have wow. A, we have a program that's called Pre-Employment Transition Services, and it's all about uh, meeting with the individuals prior to their graduation from high school as they get ready to graduate and, and begin their you know young adult life. So he could have been involved in that Pre-Employment Transition Service at the age of 14 because we tried, you know, we tr uh, he didn't have a career coach, and we tried – many different jobs with him yep. and it just didn't work out well and uh very very happy where he is right now well we are so thrilled that actually our paths crossed and that you became aware of our zoom group and the day training that we provide and um we are also just glad to be able to work with you because of these types of relationships that can happen. But yes. but it, to your point of the fact that, you know, you could have been working with Zoom Group or another agency similar to us, but weren't aware of it. That's really why this came to fruition, because it was the brainchild of how do we get the message out and it was a brilliant idea of you. your idea right this is all and, you or you, your, we'll your camp it, we'll call it the shower brushing the teeth whatever. okay getting ready in the morning it was like you know what i we constantly hear the fact that families don't know where to turn and there's no, so it's much been a godsend and yeah. you know and i've been behind the scenes running the the mixing <laughs> board and everything and i've got to yeah. listen to uh, one of your, oh, let's see here. We need that remote by that thing there. <laughs> so, but I was, I was saying. Well, I, you brought the house down. <laughs> yeah, I brought the, the t but I got to hear, uh, I was privy to one of your, uh, uh, it was, uh, Holmes, Gordon Holmes. Yes. And a very, very inspired, um, uh, I'll just pick it up there because I can edit that. Were you happy with what we had in the beginning? Yeah, we're good. We're yeah. good. Yeah. So we can edit away. You, yeah. you, you know how to do that work. Yes. Yes. <laughs> He's a pro. <laughs> so I've been fortunate enough to be behind the scenes, working the, uh, just kind of listening, running the cameras and whatnot. And uh, one of the one of your guests, Gordon Holmes. Yep. Wow, what a godsend that interview was to me because I actually went back and had Josh reevaluate it. Yes. Because uh, he has apparently a 25-year-old son who's on the spectrum, a lot like my son. Like, wait a minute. He said, he said, you know, no, 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 that's not good enough for me. He has benefits coming, and I want to be take, I want to be able to take advantage of that for him. And that's what I did. I went and found another pers uh, person, another doctor, and uh, it worked out great. Now Josh will be able to get uh, some rides, you know, like TARP 3 in, in my area. That's a, right. that's a bus service that will come get him from uh, – Wow, I'm just so we are, we finally feel with the Zoom group that we we feel that we're we have a direction and we're very excited about that and thank you for I don't know how I do I remember how our paths crossed but boy I'm so glad that you guys came in our lives. Well, I'm again I'm very glad that that this all came to fruition and we're we're really looking forward to creating this podcast together and in in. Zoom group is going to be entering its 35th year this this coming summer, and we're getting ready to uh, launch for the next 35 years. And so this is a part of that launching for the next 35 years to inform families and people. And if you can see behind us our tagline, it's it's real people, it's real lives about real purpose. So we want to be instrumental in the families from from the day one to 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 the the fulfillment of their life's journey and and be a part of it. So oh, and it's helping out so many. I mean, because what would you know, like like me, you know, um, one day I'm not going to be around, and and you know, I love that real people, real lives, real purpose, and I want Josh to have a future. Yep. And the Zoom group is definitely. And if you have, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll mention this on my platforms as well, but if you have a, if you have a kid that's on the spectrum or wh whatever, you know, where, where can they go? If someone's at home watching and they go, Hey, I think 
you know, my son or daughter may be a good fit for the Zoom group. How do they find out about you? So the easiest way is to log on to the internet and go to zoomgroup.org. And from there, there's a contact page, put all the personal information in there, and it will get to either myself or someone within the organization, and we will reach out to you. So we'll put that uh, we'll put that uh, website on the bottom of the screen, contact, and everything that you need to know to get a hold of the Zoom group if you have a son like mine or a daughter like that who may, uh, may be a good fit for your organization. Yep, and, and it's one of those things that uh, – Every child has a journey. Every every child has a differing disability. And so we are about meeting the child where the child is or the young adult is mm -hmm. and helping them learn, explore, and create and build that journey for them and with them so and with their families. Um, but it's exciting, and we're just – we're really, really hopeful that this podcast – helps create more knowledge and education to the, the pathway. Oh, it, it has to. Yeah. It has to. Like I said, I'm just some, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a <laughs> the town idiot. So, but I mean, I've learned so much by, uh, li you know, listening to the people you've had on the air. I, you know, I would go home and go, hey, I think we should have Josh do this or this. Or that. It's very, very informative, and it's, it's changed the quality of our lives. Your podcast, and I don't even, your podcast and your company has literally changed the quality of our lives and Joshua's. Well, I thank you for that. And hopefully we'll continue to do that for your family and many, many others. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things that I, I came into this space as the leader of Zoom without much background in working with individuals with disabilities. Mm -hmm. I actually came from a financial background. So the other side of this is almost selfish. It's because there are so many uh avenues of specialist and, and terminology and things like that that I don't know and I'm right. learning. So I thought this is also a venue that with someone that needs to learn how to go about things, let's bring in the experts, let's bring let's get everybody centralized and let them share their level of expertise so we can all learn and that'll make me a better leader. Uh, of the organization as well. So collectively, we get the experts here. Mm -hmm. uh, we work with um, advocacy groups. We work with employment groups because there's so many different things that impact an adult life uh, as it comes to their vocation and what they want to do and, and how we meet their disability where they are so that they can live their life to their fullest potential and desire. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And uh, so there you have it, folks. Yeah. It's uh, one more time. The website is what? Well, the website for Studio Z podcast is studioz.space. And then for Zoom groups, it's zoomgroup.org. Is there anything else that, that, that we need to touch on that you want the people at home to know? Just to tune in and tune in frequently and uh, bear with us as we learn. This is something that just, you know, it was an uh, idea and we're making it happen. So we're learning how... Uh, I thought I was I pretty. I <laughs> thought it was pretty ingenious of me. We had to do a Zoom a Zoom <laughs> meeting earlier, and uh, and our tech person wasn't here, and we had a we had. I thought it was pretty. It, you know, it worked out great. He did an awesome job. <laughs> he did an awesome <laughs> job, and I'm just very very grateful. But no, just bear with us as we live and learn. Uh, but we live, learn, and we learn how to lead. So thanks, Tom, for helping me do the intro of what Studio Z podcast is going to be all Melissa about. Melissa Marvel, thank you <laughs> for doing what you're doing. And uh, in anything from housing to finances to just, just a purpose in life. My son needed, he needed structure. He needed a purpose. And, you know, he needed finance and everything. If you have a son or daughter who's on the spectrum or somewhat special needs, please check out the website again. It's at the bottom of the screen here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>